Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five time, five time, five time. Okay, you get the point. In week 11, rookie quarterback Nathan Peterman threw five interceptions in his debut. Obviously, Peterman's performance hurts his shot of being the greatest of all time. But which rookie quarterback is? Which quarterback fresh out of college has had the greatest success? I'm Hassan Khan from Time to Football, and here are your top five rookie quarterbacks of all time. Honorable mention, Cam Newton. In 2011, Newton was drafted first overall by the Panthers. Immediately, he made an impact. In his first start against the Cardinals, Newton threw for over 400 yards, the first rookie to do so in a single game. He would end up throwing for over 4,000 yards and 21 touchdowns that year. What's even more impressive is that he rushed for 14 touchdowns, a single season record by any quarterback, a record that still stands today. He would be higher on this list had he thrown less than 17 interceptions. Number 5. Ben Roethlisberger Cam Newton statistically had a better year than Big Ben, but Roethlisberger gets the nod because of his winning percentage. Coming out of one of the best quarterback draft classes in 2004, Roethlisberger was drafted by the Steelers 11th overall initially to be a backup to Tommy Maddox. When Maddox got hurt, Big Ben stepped up. He threw for 17 touchdowns and did not lose a single regular season game, leading his team to a 13-game winning streak. He would go on to lose in the AFC Championship to the eventual Super Bowl champions, the New England Patriots. Number 4. Robert Griffin III 2012 had big names at the quarterback position. Andrew Luck was drafted by the Colts first overall and had himself a solid rookie campaign. With the Rams originally holding the number 2 pick, the Redskins traded everything in their mother to get to the number 2 spot so that they could snag RG3. Griffin threw for 20 touchdowns to only 5 interceptions, while rushing for another 7 touchdowns and 800 yards on the ground. After his rookie season, he was never able to recreate that same magic, with a plethora of injuries affecting his career. Washington eventually dropped him and went with Kirk Cousins as their quarterback, who was drafted three rounds later than RG3 in the same draft. Number 3. Russell Wilson Coming out of the same draft as RG3, Wilson was drafted in the third round by the Seahawks. Prior to the draft, Seattle signed free agent quarterback Matt Flynn to a three-year deal to be their starting quarterback. It was during the preseason of the same year that Wilson won the job over Flynn, and Seattle never looked back. In his rookie year, he tied Peyton Manning's rookie record for the most touchdowns thrown by a quarterback in a single season with 26 while rushing for another four touchdowns on the ground. It's safe to say that Seattle got themselves a steal in this draft. Number 2. Deshaun Watson You can't help but to think that if he didn't get hurt, he would be on pace to be number one on this list. In the 2017 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans traded up to snag Watson, number 13 overall. His success at Clemson translated to the pros, throwing 19 touchdowns in just six starts. In one of those games against Kansas City, Watson threw for five touchdowns, the most, by a rookie quarterback in a single game. He was undoubtedly on pace to throw the most touchdowns by a rookie in a single season. Sadly, Watson tore his ACL, ending his historic rookie year. Without question, he would have been the best rookie quarterback if it weren't for his injury. And number one, Dak Prescott. Love him or hate him, Prescott has had statistically the best year out of any rookie quarterback. Drafted by the Cowboys in the fourth round of the 2016 draft, Dak Prescott was initially drafted to be an insurance policy if Tony Romo were to ever get injured again. In the preseason, Romo hurt his back and Prescott was forced into action. Prescott's performance was good enough for him to win the starting job over Romo, throwing 23 touchdowns at only 4 interceptions while rushing for another six touchdowns. He led the Cowboys to a 12-4 record and an appearance in the NFC Divisional Round of the playoffs. Feel like I left someone off the list? Let me know by leaving a comment down below or hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and the Twitter. Also, check out TimeOfFootball.com and subscribe to us on YouTube for more NFL content.